Welcome back to One Man, One Project. My name is Dennis Kintop, and I am one man, and the project is the Joko Project down in Aurora, Illinois. We have all the steel in. Everything's laid out. Lumber just got delivered. A lot of lumber. 72 by 12, 16. 72 by 12 is 12. 45 sheets of three-quarter tongue and groove plywood for the floor. So what we have is we have all of our steel in. Putting in three rows of steel on top of our brand new piers. The piers go down to bedrock. We're going to be going underneath these walls with the floor. I'll be showing you how we do that a little bit later on. I left all the supports here in this center wall. It's the best way to do it. That way I'll take those out one at a time. Originally the 2x12 sat on this ledge, but this is below grade because we're down on Broadway, and as you know, once you hit Broadway, it goes uphill. You can see the damage to the joists, how much they've fallen, so that's what we're dealing with. So we'll be going down underneath all of these walls and supporting it. It appears it's going to fit perfect so far. <clears throat> You never really know until you start putting your lumber in. So we're going to start on this now. It'll take us probably a couple of days to get it all in. I hope to be done by Friday so I can send a bill. That's cool being able to send a bill. I haven't had to send bills in a long time. I'm excited about that. But there's some things I'll be doing to get underneath these walls and how I'm going to support the walls. And I'll be showing you that as an individual task as well as when we go under those center walls. These center walls out here, what we'll do is we're going to be taking pieces out and going in one at a time underneath them because I have to take the plate out. My joists are going to go all the way up to the bottom of that wood trim. So i got to show you how to do that too as soon as I figure it out. I really don't know yet. I'll figure that out as I go along. Got a load in lumber. I'll be talking to you. So we've been working. I want to show you the wall, that, how we're building underneath it. The studs came out with the wall, the, the bottom plate. So I put a new plate on it. And then we took a 2x12 and ripped it from 9.5 at this end to 9 inches on that end. And then we put another joist in. And then we're putting the three-quarter plywood right on top of that. We can't necessarily worry about how everything has been built because it isn't correct. And then we're bringing in this one. That'll support that wall. And then I'll be able to tear out that corner. We got a good start. We got the blocking in on the back side. Now we're getting all these joists in. And then we're putting those joists. We're going right underneath the studs. We had to take the plates off and not put them on in this area. But we still have some blocking to put under there. Currently, I'm going to tear that out now. And then we're just going to keep going. Everything is working out just fine. Fitting right underneath the existing walls. It's working out good. Welcome back to One Man, One Project. We got all the floor in, puttied all the walls. Gonna start painting on Monday. But the floor is all done and in, passed all my inspections. So we have paint, carpet on Wednesday. They can start moving back in. So I wanted to show it to you. Everything worked out very nice. It went right underneath the wall out here. Worked absolutely perfect. Nice and neat on the walls in the back. So we have left to take all this oak material, wipe everything down and clean the glass. Didn't break any glass. Got a slight transition over here. The carpet guy is going to have to take and feather that in. Turned in numbers for phase two. This was 1,300 square feet. The next one is 1,664 square feet. 
So they went in for a, a grant, because this is a not-for-profit corporation, so they went in for a grant for it. Hopefully they'll be able to get that, and we can continue on to finish the other phase of it. Uh, the job went really well. We started, I think, October 9th. It's October 26th, and we're done. I went three hours over, had to come in this morning, put down the last bit of plywood in this room behind me here. So, But it looks good. Very happy with it. It's safe. Get her cleaned up, carpeted. Movers come in and move from one to the other, and we'll be able to start again. So my name is Dennis Kentop. I am one man. I appreciate you following one man, one project. I appreciate your comments. Hopefully you're learning a little bit of something as we go along. Again, we put this floor in without tearing out any of the walls. It was about a $250,000 job if they would have done it the way other people wanted to do it. That's tear out all the walls, tear out the walls, ceiling, electric, sprinklers, I mean everything, and put it all back. Cost 50 grand and it worked. I'm very pleased when things work well. So, anyway, thanks. My name is Dennis Kentop, and we will be talking to you soon. Thank you.